why I quit vegan after 20 years. Uh, let's have a listen to this. I've been a vegan personally since 2001, April 2001. I've eaten my share of pussy during those 20 years, so maybe I'm not technically vegan. But I think I'm going to quit vegan today because of this question. It makes a lot of sense. No, it doesn't. Come on, let's listen to this. We've got a question here. What would happen to all the farm animals? This is a question from a coaching group, by the way. Durandride.com. Durandride.com if you want to join my coaching group where we just, we just hit every question. We could dive deep on this one. And I often do video responses. This is a question here. What would happen to all the farm animals we don't use for food? They would end up like every other animal humans don't use for entertainment or food. On the verge of extinction. So would you rather have no animals? No animals. So if you don't go vegan. So if you go vegan, that means there won't be any animals left. Then have them in some form of life because humans eat them. Would you start a farm in your back garden? Or would you be happier that these animals die out because we have no need for them? Just wondering. Veganism is pushed because livestock is far more expensive than vegetable farming. That is true. It takes costs and care to look after animals. Veg, not so much. That is true. It's communist propaganda that you're actually eating, they're actually protecting these animals because you're not eating them. What they want you, what they want is for you, for you to live on a, of rice and bean curd like China to save the country money. Vegans are not good for the animals. Animals, animals would die out if we had no use for them. That's right. That's why I'm, I'm quitting vegan today because this 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 debate makes so much sense. No, it doesn't. Oh man, I was, I was so close to quitting vegan. Gee, I thought someone had a a logical debate against veganism, and I'm a man of logic. I am a man of logic. Logic. I love logic. Pussy carbs, riding bikes, staying fit, nature, camping out, good fruit. That's what I love. And I thought, you know, someone's going to give me a logical argument one day. Hasn't been ever. So I guess I'm going to have to stay vegan. But to answer the question, so if you do, if you go vegan, it means the animals die out. Wow. Really? Damn. Wow. <laughs> this is, what sort of undercarbed rubbish is this question? How do we even answer that? It's like someone asking you, you know, why don't you put your phone under a hammer and smash it up? Why don't you get your perfectly working phone and just smash it under a hammer? You know, so you no longer got any phone or internet or to do your whatever you got to do with your phone. Just let's, why don't you get your bicycle and just run it over? Like, why don't you just, you know, it's, just, it's man. So if we don't have, if we, you know, if, <laughs> what will happen? Okay, let's answer the question. I'm just, I'm baffled here right now. Let's answer the question, Dune. Let's get, let's lock it down. What would happen to the, all the chickens, all the battery hen chickens, and all the cows if we stopped breeding them? They would probably go extinct. And that would be a good thing. If I was a battery hen chicken, you know, I mean, like, I would rather die than live in this prison. You know, it's just, it's crazy. It's crazy. That's just me. I can't speak for all animals. But yeah, what was going to happen to them? They just eventually just die out. Because we're, we're forced breeding these cows... We're inseminating the, the cows and the chicken. We're just, you know, we're just creating this environment for them. So they would die out. We would take over the land and grow, you know, put native trees on there. We'd put back to nature. We'd put some, maybe some fruit farms because most of the planet we use, instead of farming, we use that to grow feed for livestock and for livestock room. So we would need a lot less, uh, we could put a lot less more native vegetation back on all those lands that we currently use for livestock food and livestock locations livestock storing livestock etc so we could restore a lot of the habitat back to its natural native vegetation all the native fauna and stuff can start coming back into it so that'd be a benefit for the environment air quality is better water quality is better there's less pollution less effluent going into the oceans from all the pig farms etc the concentrated you know, faeces and urine, it's just like, you know, way too much, just goes into the runoff of the rivers and cause a lot of fish kills, etc. So yeah, we would, uh, all the all the farm salmon, all the tuna in the pens, I mean, we let the tuna go because they're all native and most of the salmon we could just let go and eventually that just sort of settle itself out. Uh, but let's talk about the chickens and the goats, they'll just phase out over time. Like, well, I guess we could just use them for dog food. 
you know, we could, whatever's left over, we could just use it for dog food. Or we could just, you know, let people have their last bit of dead animal flesh and just say, all right, we're just going to, this is the last bit of meat, you know, let just kill all those animals off and let's revegetate and, and help the environment. So that's what would happen. Do, does the world need cows? No. Does it need chickens? No. Does it need humans? Definitely not. The 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 the, the, <laughs> the planet does not benefit from humans. Okay, the planet doesn't. We are not a benefit for the planet. We are an absolute cancer to the planet, and no one can disagree with that. This is this is the crazy thing. Is like, well, don't you want to spread your bloodline? Like, what? You got to keep the human population going. Like, what sort of nonsense is that? We're an absolute cancer on the planet. I'm a vegan hippie cyclist, live a pretty eco life, but even still, I have a pretty big carbon footprint, bigger than I would if I didn't exist. All right, like it's just it's crazy. I've ever uttered a vasectomy. I've got no kids. Not that I know about you know. Like it's just we even if we're doing our best, we still have a carbon footprint. I, the planet doesn't need humans. We are. The cause of air pollution, water pollution, land pollution, etc. The main cause is us humans. Okay, so let's let's not pretend that we're actually doing any benefit here. So what would happen to the last bit of animals? We just eat them up, chew them up, dog food, human food, whatever, and then just go back to uh, you know, get, get, not go back, but start up just a, a plant-based vegan lifestyle and go from there. And that's what we could do. Oh, I mean, but then again, if people still say, so, okay. We need animal products. Like, okay, I'm not going to eat meat, but I do believe that we need animal products. I'm like, okay, cool. Then farm oysters or have some sort of free-range chicken set up where you, you're eating your eggs, blah, 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 blah. You know, we could do something. Oysters, etc. Crickets. You know, we could just farm crickets if people think they still need animal protein. Okay, I'm going to be accepting. I'm not going to, yeah. You know, I, I want to give meet people, you know, give people something that's, that's, that's attainable that we can actually do because I understand most people don't want to go vegan. But we can definitely make more, um, you know, we can definitely make things more eco than what they are now, definitely. So there's definitely ways to do it. We could have, you, know, you can definitely have eggs um, raised in an eco way by having chickens just free running on the farm. People can eat the eggs. We can have people eating crickets. You know, we could farm roaches. We can definitely do things super eco oysters. You know, these things are things that I don't eat personally. But I do believe they can be done sustainably, ethically, etc. You know, especially the eggs. Um, you know, eggs don't involve killing something. They don't have to anyway. So there, you go. I'm just saying. If people really, you know, if people go, okay, I, I need, I need meat, and I care about the environment, blah blah blah. Okay, then there's, there's options for you. If you really think you can't be vegan, you know, I'm just gonna get, I get criticism for saying that, but I'm just gonna be real world. I'm gonna be real world. But the truth is. Humans are not going to give up their meat. They're not going to give up their excessively heavy carbon footprint lifestyle. No, we're not going to give up breeding. It's just we just you know I'm just living in la la fairy tan fairy tale land here. But anyway, that's the answer to the question. I'm going to keep eating my rice and my bean curd and my pussy and my sugar and my fruit. I love my fruit. And I'm going to keep living this lifestyle because I feel the best on this and I perform the best and I've done the other lifestyles and I've done it all, you know. And this is what I have lived today is how I feel my best. And I'm going to keep doing that because I enjoy feeling good and doing my little bit for the planet. So hopefully other people inspired to do that as well. There you go. That's the answer to the question. What would happen to the animals? They would be fine. We don't need have cows, etc. on the planet. We also definitely don't need humans. Killing animals for food is, you know, it's just, it's not justifiable in my opinion. But yeah, if people want to do it, then they should find a better way.